how can we like how how do we use the narrative that the gospel tells us to unify a marriage that's struggling or not getting along with your teenage kid like how do you help a family that feels like it's breaking how do you become unified with the gospel or how have you seen that help in your life so when when my wife and i got married the person that married us said that there are times in your marriage that you guys will disagree on certain things and whenever you do always hold on to what that one thing that you have in common which is the gospel which is the temple and throughout my marriage you know it's not it's not perfect but we and we've had struggles but that is one thing that always kept us together was the gospel knowing that everything's going to be okay that at the end of the day we are always going to be together forever no matter what happens at the end of the day our children's with us you know and and just just always thinking that that all the struggles that you go through is just a trial for something greater that's about to come that means whenever you know i've i've basically come to the conclusion that whenever i'm struggling whenever you know we are not getting along we just need to sit down and pray and the reason why we're going through this is god is about to give us something amazing and and i think that makes it worth it at the end. What do you do when like, you feel like you don't get answers? What do you do to try to keep the revelation flowing in your life and try to do the next right thing? Um, one thing I've noticed as well is you know, whenever I ask for answers, whenever I pray, the answer don't always come right away. And, and it's because it's not supposed to come yet. And that there's certain things that I need to learn in my life. There's certain things that I need to change for me to be ready for that answer because if I get that answer now I might not treat it as how God would want me to treat it you know and, and I think that um, he wants us to to be ready for it you know like you're not gonna hand uh, a five-year-old a 10-pound bowling ball you know they have to grow they have to be able to to build their strength and then when you hand it to them they'll be able to carry it strongly and I think that's the same thing with the, the gospel I mean that's the same thing with the, the blessings that is um, meant for us you know if we are strong enough to handle it the Lord will give it to us at that same time but if not we have to do a lot of growing first